Hello, and in this video we're going to install some sample data for your SQL Server environment so that you can have a play. Now, the standard data is called AdventureWorks, one word. And trouble is, it keeps moving. So for me, I found that the best way to find it is by using its old place called Coldplex. When you click on it, you get a link directly to where it actually is. So we've got all of these backups. You should not choose a version that is later than your current SQL install. For example, suppose you've got SQL Server 2014, well don't have the 2016 version. So you could have the 2014 version or the 2012. Going backwards is fine. It's going forwards later than your current version. Now, on my courses, because I want to have the same data for everybody, not everyone's using the latest version of SQL Server, I stick to the AdventureWorks 2014. You'll read that 2016 is an extended version. I don't want that. Now, the light version gives you a reduced number of tables. So again, a very useful set of sample data. The DW gives you fewer tables as well, but more columns. It's in a format which is better suited for creating cubes rather than for using transactions, which is what the standard SQL server in SSMS is all about. So for this video, I'm going to download the AdventureWorks 2014 back. So just click on it and you can see downloading. It's 44 megabytes, so it will literally just take a minute. So now it's downloaded and it's in my download section. What I'm now going to do is connect to my database in SQL Server Management Studio because I want to find out where the best place to put it is. So currently I have some other databases in here. This is from my 98-364 course, an eight hour course all about learning TSQL and also backups. And what we're going to be doing here, restore is also covered in this course. So if I right and click on the word databases and go to restore database, we get a slightly confusing dialog box. And I say it's slightly confusing because you may notice we've got the word database here, database here, and database here. So what I'm going to do is recover from a device. So this could be a hard drive on your computer. It could be an external drive. It could be a backup on the internet. So I'm going to click dot, 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 and it's saying, okay, is it on the internet or is it your local? It's your local and click add. And here at the top, we have the default path and that's the one I'm going to use. So I'll copy this and now I'll open up Windows Explorer. This version I'm using Windows 10, but it could be any instance. It could be Windows 7, it could be something else. And I'm going to paste that in, Control and V, Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. Now you may not have instant access to that folder. If you don't, then click continue, you'll need administrator permissions to be able to do that. So now I'm going to move my file into this backup folder. So let's now go back to SQL Server, click the refresh button, and there it is. So I want to restore from this file, this device. So you can see device, file. And it fills in the rest because there's only one database that's there in this backup and it's going to restore to AdventureWorks 2014. So if you wanted a different database name, this is where you can enter it. So it's just got the one backup set to restore, click OK. And after a few seconds, we now have our sample data and quite a lot of sample data it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found something new. If you did, why not sign up to one of my courses? I've got a one hour, eight hour or 29 hour TSQL course. There are details in the description or you can go to my webpage filecats.co.uk to see a full list of all of the courses that I've got available, not just in SQL Server, but beyond, like Microsoft Azure. So thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please click like and why not click on the subscribe and check the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next video.